These are the user settings. If you don't know how to get here, please see the first video in the series um, to open the app and uh, log on to the remote settings and access this page. Let's look at the next work mode, feed in priority. So what's feed in priority and how does it differ from self use? Um, to start with, the inverter uses the generated solar energy in a different order. So firstly, like self-use, um, it's used to power the house load. But after that, in self-use, it's used to charge the battery. But feed-in mode, the next priority is to export the energy to the grid. If by any chance that uh, the limit is reached for grid export, then it will then charge the battery. And if it manages to reach the battery charge limit or the battery is full, it will then clip any excess energy, which essentially means it's wasted. Like the other modes, the energy will only cover the next priority if there's enough energy to fully cover the previous one. Um, if there isn't energy, enough energy to cover the, the house load, for example, then the house load will be taken from um, the battery and the grid. So what's this mode used for? Um, because the second priority is exporting to the grid, this mode is used when the preference is to export energy to the grid because you're on a good export tariff um, rather than charging the battery first. Um, it can also be used to delay the charging of the battery until peak solar production in the middle of the day so that clipping doesn't occur. Um, and I'll probably give you an example of that in, in a minute. Let's say you have a rather large solar array compared to your inverter size. So um, the solar array is uh, 8 kilowatts peak. Um, your inverter size is a 5 kilowatt inverter. You have 10 kilowatts of battery storage. And just for our example, we're going to use a 1 kilowatt house load. I'll use this case scenario to compare self-use mode to feeding priority mode. So starting with self-use mode, let's for example say that the battery is 50% charged in the morning. The sun comes up and it's generating 5 kilowatts, if only. Um, the power to the house is a 1 kilowatt load and therefore the rest of the solar is put into the battery at 4 kilowatts. By 11 o'clock, for example, um, the battery is full and the excess 4 kilowatt solar is now exported to the grid. As the day progresses, the output of the panels increases and by early afternoon at peak production, the panels are putting out eight kilowatts. So the house load's covered, the battery's full, the inverter is going to reach its maximum export capacity of five kilowatts, which is covering the house load and exporting to the grid. And there's nowhere else for the extra three kilowatts of energy to go. So this energy is then what we call clipped and wasted. Essentially, it just disappears into thin air. If we look at the same example in feed in priority mode, we start exactly the same 50% battery charged in the morning. The sun comes up generating five kilowatts, powers the one kilowatt house, and uh, it doesn't charge the battery. Instead, it exports four kilowatt to the grid. As the day progresses and you reach peak production time, the output of the panels increases to eight kilowatts. The house load's covered. The inverter reaches its maximum rating of five kilowatts, covering the house load and exporting to the grid. And now there's somewhere else for the extra solar energy to go. The three kilowatts, which is extra, which got wasted and clipped in self-use mode, now goes into charging the battery and none of the extra solar generated is wasted. By the time the battery is full in the afternoon, the output of the power of the panels will have reduced below the maximum inverter rating and all the excess energy is exported to the grid. So you can see in that scenario, feed in mode doesn't waste any of the solar energy, whereas self use mode would waste a lot of solar energy. Just like self use, you can set the min sock of the battery. So in feed in mode, um, this will be the lowest that the battery will discharge to under normal use. Um, and also the charge battery to percentage. So when you're charging the battery from grid on at off peak times, you can change the percentage that you'd like to charge the battery to. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video.